Hey guys, it's and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. So for today, I'm just going to be inside the PC where the shop right here. So I'm just going to show you how to fix a issue where your PC is randomly restarting. So if, if some, for some reason your PC just keeps on restarting at random, this video should be able to help you in fixing the issue. Now, there are many reasons why a PC might re randomly restart and it's very hard to track down. But with this video, you should be able to fix the issue, no problem. So we're going to start off with the general um, overview of what, what I think when I'm normally troubleshooting an issue such as this. For example, your issues can either be hardware related or software related. So the easiest one to start with is the hardware. So that's why we're on the inside of the case. Now the first thing I wanted to check guys is to make sure that you check all your cables to make sure that they are properly connected. Start first from the outside of the case. Make sure that you check your uh, power supply. There should be a cable running from the power supply to your wall. Make sure there's nothing in the way such as stuff um, might be snagging the card. For example, make sure that it fits snugly inside of the power supply. I don't have the card on this one. But basically make sure that it's well plugged in and it's not loose. Also make sure it's connected to the wall very firmly and that nothing is snagging it out, right? Because what might be happening is that something might be jerking your computer table and causing the cable to just get loose. All right, um, next thing you want to do is come on the inside of the cable. For example, right over here, you'll notice we have the 24 pin connector that connects to the board. And this is the main way your um, board is powered by your power supply, giving, board, um, giving the computer power. So make sure this thing is well tucked in. It's very hard to get in, so make sure that it's sitting flush. All right, also make sure you check other components such as um, these cables here that run to the board. Make sure they're all connected. Make sure the jumper and lead cables that lead to the front of your case make sure that they are connected make sure nothing is loose and make sure everything is well snug all right especially if your pc has just been freshly built all right even for older pcs make sure that um, everything cause is plugged in because what might be i mean is that something got um bum, bumps loose or basically um something um <laughs> it's just like um components do get loose so you have to just make sure that they're actually in all right so if it's not a case of loose cables and i think you want to check is your power supply now i call this over here a generic power supply and the reason is this thing supplies 500 watts now if you look over here you'll notice i have a high-end um, pc that as in including a graphics card a lot of lights and so on now this thing is powered by a very powerful um 700 hour, um, watt power supply or higher. Now if you come back over here, a simpler PC like this one is only powered by basic components or as basic components, alright? So it doesn't need as much power, uh, powerful power supply. Now if you have something as um, flimsy as this powering that INPC PC I just showed you, it's not going to work. It's going to basically fail or you're going to have random power fluctuations. So please guys make sure that your power supply can actually supply your components make sure it's not a no name brand or make sure it's nothing as flimsy as this um, simple power supply if you have a lot of high-end components so it could be a case where your power supply is um, failing next you might have a case where you have overeating components if you look over here you'll notice we have a fan and beneath here we have a metal heat sink now if your PC is older, make sure that you check the thermal compound that's beneath here. It might have gotten um, so old that it's no longer good and your PC is overheating. Now overheating PC will shut down to protect itself. Alright, so um, in other cases, make sure that this fan is working and spinning when the PC is on. You can actually pour it up while this side is off and check that. So if your components are overheating, they might shut down to um, protect themselves. Um, also, if you guys overclock, such as the gamers who are watching this, make sure that your overclock is running properly. If not, um, it could be causing random restarts. I had a case where I had a um, overclock set on a system. It would run fine for about almost 24 hours, but soon as it was up on such as um, 15 hours, um, going up to a 20 hour um, time period on the PC would just randomly restart later on I found out it was my um, overclock 
I had tested it but it was only um, stable for a few hours in that case you can just basically go into your BIOS and reset your settings back to their basic setting when you do that um, the components will run at their rated um, setting so they should work as um, planned alright guys next you want to check your memory now right down here you'll notice I have um, a few sticks of memory um, if one is gone bad it can cause anything from your PC not starting up or it could just cause it to just randomly restart so what I suggest is that you remove both sticks you put in um, one stick you're gonna test your PC make sure you pour it on use it as normal if the issue doesn't continue I want to take the second stick put it in and try it again and see if it operates as normal if one stick causes the issue to continue then you know that that stick is bad and you'll basically need to replace it or you could just continue on the one stick of um, memory um, another thing that could cause issues guys is if you have um, new hardware new hardware can also maybe it's not playing well with the other components and it can cause your, your system to become very unstable so therefore if you made any recent hardware changes make sure that you check or you could just temporarily disable it and then see if the problem continues also older hardware or legacy hardware that you might be saving from an older system that you have brought over to a newer system might not be playing well as well and it might be causing the unstable or instability issues so guys if you are having um, any of those please don't rule anything out make sure that you try all these tips and that's it basically for the hardware side next we're gonna go on to the software side for that I will be switching over to the PC and basically giving you a run through alright guys alright guys so now we're on the PC now you want to go to device manager you can actually use search over here in the start menu so you can basically come over here in the start menu and do a search for device manager now once you have found the device manager if you already know to go to it fine you can look around and see if you see any um, a yellow exclamation beside any of your components now in my case I've already installed all the drivers so I don't have that issue that's something I do by default so you want to come in here and make sure all your drivers is up to date another thing you can do is to check your hardware and make sure that you go to your manufacturers website and manually download all the drivers and make sure you update them or install them in that way you're, gonna, you're making sure that um, your um, hardware is working well with your software with properly written drivers a properly written driver will make sure that everything runs smoothly now if all drivers are up to date your PC should run um, smoothly um, and if there was one that's here that's not updated you can right click and click update drivers and it should update it all right so that tends to fit, fix a bunch of problems that most users are having another thing that could cause the issue is software now if you have a poorly written software it tends to be very hard to find these issues so if you have a piece of software it could be antivirus it could be a program that you use they can actually cause your PC to run unstable especially when they are run um, I've, I had one particular case where a antivirus was not playing well with my hardware and I couldn't track down what was causing my PC to randomly restart it was actually that antivirus currently I'm using a different um, kind of antivirus because that one just simply doesn't work well with this PC so you want to bear that in mind also you want to watch out for events if your PC restarts as soon as you store up your um, PC that might be a clue or if later on it restarts after like say two hours or three hours that also might be a clue or maybe it restarts after a game or after a particular program is run that might also um, give you a clue as to what's causing the issue another thing that you want to do guys is to update windows to the latest version so if you're um, a windows update i want you to go into windows update and make sure that your pc is up to date you could also look into making sure that your pc is up to date in terms of you're running the latest version of windows such as windows 10 or so on with all updates all right um, another thing is errors if you're getting a lot of errors um, that too could cause your system to be running um, unstable so what I suggest is you use a program such as CC Cleaner I'm just gonna launch it right here and what happened with CC Cleaner or it's called Crap Cleaner is that it has a registry cleaner you can see right here and you can basically scan if you look down here you see scan you can scan for issues and it will basically look for um, orphan programs errors and so on and you can basically fix all the selected issues so as you can see here it's finding a bunch of errors and you can actually select fix 
and it will fix them. You could also clean up crop files, you can analyze again and remove all the crop files from your PC. Now this basically will deal with basic errors that can cause your PC to run unstable. Um, sometimes errors are so bad that this won't help any at all, especially if you have been running the same version of Windows for like say two years or so on and then errors start to develop. I suggest in those cases and only as a last resort that you reinstall Windows as a clean install and start afresh. Sometimes if that's a harder issue you can fix it. And then after that make sure that you reinstall your hardware one at a time. So if there is a particular issue with one of those hardwares you can basically see which one are basically track down what's exactly causing the the issue all right guys those are my main points i have a full article where i go into detail on these things um just remember that for this problem is very hard to fix um that's why this video is so long so if you want to actually correct such an issue you have to have time you have to do a lot, lot of troubleshooting but if you basically do as i say and take it from a hardware standpoint and then a software standpoint you can actually track down the um, the issue and actually pinpoint the problem and then you can actually fix it as I said there's no straight answer as to what's causing um, these random restarts it can be anywhere and it can be just about anything it's just for you to basically find what the issue is pinpoint the hardware whether it's old or new hardware or whatever it is and basically figure out what it is and then remove it from your PC or update it to the latest drivers alright guys this recorder I'm here just basically to help you so if you have any of these issues please use the comments um, tell me specifically what your issue is and I'll see if I can help. Just please remember to watch the video in detail and basically try what I say. This is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying goodbye until next time. Bye.